Welcome back to Hardball. The creationism versus evolution fight took a new twist in Louisiana. High school student Zach Coplin opposed a 2008 law that he says is a misguided way to sneak creationism into a Louisiana public school curriculum. The Louisiana Science Education Act, signed into law by Governor Bobby Jindal, lets teachers add to the state-approved curriculum with supplemental textbooks and other instructional materials to help students understand, analyze, critique, and review scientific theories. Critics say that opens the door to teaching about creation. Zach led the effort to repeal the law, and he won praise for his effort at a New Orleans City Council meeting where the board voted to support his repeal. I would also just on a side note like to thank um, Zach Coplin for bringing up this issue to, um, to all of us and, and his just very diligence. It's nice to see somebody who's so young um, really working hard for the betterment of, um, of education and science in, in our state. Hey, Zach, help me paint this picture. There's a meeting of the Textbook Advisory Council. You're there. It's something that gets held once every seven years. A reverend stands up and he says, textbooks are biased toward evolution. And you now take control of the meeting. What happened? Well, thanks for having me on, Michael. The textbook advisory council meeting, which was about six months ago now, it was a meeting that was meant to decide what textbooks are put back into the classrooms from now on. So what was supposed to happen was a group of creationists were trying to throw out all the textbooks and replace and to justify using creationist supplemental materials in the classroom after that, par of the Louisiana Science Education Act. Now, I went to that meeting along with members of the Louisiana Science Coalition, and we just said evolution is science, creationism is not science, it should not be in the classroom. And we explained it to the board members, and they voted for science. And Eight to we four. All owe them our thanks. In other words, there was a there was a vote taken, and the side for which you were arguing was successful. Eight to mm-hmm. four, and then you come back now and you say, as I understand it, we should overturn the law that allowed that consideration to begin with. Yes, we we should absolutely overturn the law because the whole purpose of this law is to teach creationism in the classroom. I mean, you don't need the proponents of this law say it's just about critical thinking. The point is, you don't need a law to teach critical thinking. That's what science is. You need a law to teach creationism, which isn't science. The law was signed. So into, we absolutely should have. The law was signed into effect by Governor Jindal. I, I did not know this until I, I read in anticipation of your visit today that he was a bio major at Brown. Did you find that interesting as well? I mean, I think in his heart of hearts, he. I mean, he understands how vital evolution is to biology. His teacher actually. After he, or before he signed the law, gave, his genetics teacher asked him to veto this law and to not pull up the ladder on other students from his state who wanted to be doctors just like him or who wanted to be biology majors just like him. So I think, I think in his heart, he really knows how vital evolution is. Hey, Zach, um, I, I, was, I say tongue-in-cheek that most of what I've learned about Louisiana I know from watching the HBO show True Blood. <laughs> Okay, good. You're laughing. Uh. (laughs) I bring it up because I know that a a part of your mindset is that you want to deal with the stereotype of Louisiana. You don't want to see Louisiana lagging Mm -hmm. behind relative to science. And that's what motivates you. True? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it makes Louisiana students are now going to be our science education is not going to compare to the rest of the country. Our um, colleges, let's take Rice University, where I'm going to school next year. It won't know. They can't be sure that I've been taught evolution or they don't know if my teacher's been intimidated by this law. And so all around the country, or even our state, our flagship university, LSU, doesn't want to have to reteach high school biology because it's supposed to be taught in high school. So our education is now looked down upon. I have just a minute left with you. What's this got to do with Michelle Bachman? (laughs) Okay, so I'll try and break this into three points. First, okay, first, presidential candidates shouldn't be allowed to make stuff up. So Michelle Bachman claimed that Nobel laureates support creationism. Now, I've got 43 Nobel laureates who've endorsed my repeal. And I was just asking her where hers are because she lends a lot of false authority from being like, she elevates this to the national debate and gives lobbyists and politicians in my state who want to put creationism in the classroom a lot of false authority. And if she makes these claims, she should back them up because I've got mine and I'm asking for what I'm asking her to bring out hers. I've got 43. Can she match that? Can she even get one? Uh, Zach Coplin, is there any truth to the rumor that your bus 
is headed for New Hampshire this weekend? Um, I'm joking. Not as far as I know. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> good luck. Uh, good luck at Rice. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Zach Coplin.